Many of you have jumped ship on the Chicago Bears, and you're going toward the Miami Dolphins because you want to support Jay Cutler, feeling that Cutler was uh, not treated right here in Chicago. So we bring on our guy, Jeff Fox, friend of the program from the SBS Radio Network, part of the Sports Brothers in Miami, and he is with us here on ESPN 1000 and the ESPN app. What's up, Fox? Jay Hood, what's good, my brother? You know what's good. At football, right around the corner. I, <laughs> I, let me ask you this. Yeah. How how uh-huh. how is Jay Cutler being revered in Miami so far? Man, I will tell you, this was uh, an interesting decision because uh, the talk around town was whether the Dolphins were going to, you know, participate in this whole bypassing of Colin Kaepernick, which there were a lot of some fans that were interested in that, and then there were some that said, you know what, Adam Gates coached this guy. Uh, he's familiar with them. Uh, you can get it with no draft picks. It's not going to cost a whole lot of money. Makes sense. So, to be honest with you, Dolphin fans uh, kind of embrace Cutler, uh, I guess, cautiously. <laughs> <laughs> cautiously, yeah. They, they, they took him in cautiously because uh, there were a lot of jokes going around town about him throwing the football to the wrong color jersey. Right. So, with Tannehill 10 and 6, and now with Cutler, do you take a couple of losses off? How do you look at the season now? Well, I, I predicted for the Dolphins to go eleven and five uh, oh. with Ryan Tannehill. Mm-hmm. I think this is a very, very good football team. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, Dolphin fans should still be excited because Adam Gates knows Jay Cutler. He likes him. Of course, he had his most successful season under Adam Gase, and that it just made sense. It was a good football move. It wasn't as if the Dolphins were like any of the other teams around the league uh, to pass on cap or any other quarterback that was available. And we've seen, uh, you know, bits and pieces of it in preseason. Jay Cutler can get the football downfield. So I don't think it's that much of a drop-off. This is kind of like a Kardashian marriage. It's going to last about six months. You know, I mean, throughout the football season, it's a one-shot deal uh, for the Miami Dolphins with Jay Cutler. He knows it. We know it. Just get the job done, much like they did back in 2008 when uh, Chad Pennington fell into their laps and led a 1-15 team to a playoff season. Mm -hmm. I think Jay Cutler can steady the ship and drive the Miami Dolphins uh, to the playoffs. I really believe that's going to happen. Furthermore, Jonathan, Jay Cutler has got weapons on this team. Uh, and, you know, weapons that he's quite, you know, he should be quite familiar with. He had six foot three Alshon Jeffrey uh, back in 2015. He had the big tight end, Martellus Bennett. He also had Zach Miller. You look at Miami, he's got six three Devontae Parker, who the Dolphins expect big things from. This guy can get up and flat out get the football down the field. He's got a speed mercy, you know, and, uh, and Kenny Stills. And then he's got uh, Dev- not only Devontae, but he's also got uh, uh, he's got weapons all over the place. He's got Jay Ajayi in the backfield running the football. Um, not to mention uh, Jarvis, your boy Eli Landry, Jarvis Landry. So he's got weapons everywhere. I think Cutler's going to be just fine. And, and you believe, I think that some will say that Cutler's going to be steady because of Adam Gase. I, I mean, from what he brought to Chicago – you remember, I mean, Cutler went through seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different offensive coordinators, but Gase was able to study the waters when it came to uh, to Jay Cutler as a quarterback. How much? What have you seen from Gase that tells you that he is the guy as the head coach for this team? Uh, I, this is a new type of Dolphin team. I always thought they were soft in the past. I always thought the Dolphins were soft. I always thought they got worn out as the season progressed. This guy, Gase has shown me a physical Miami Dolphin team where they pound their opponents. I remember watching JHI run for a couple of 200-yard games a year ago. They just seem different. They've got a different swagger about them. And uh, I see big play potential on this team when I never really saw that before. You know, and the thing about Cutler that I believe he has an edge over Tannehill in is getting the ball down the field. I think you're going to see a lot of big plays uh, from this Miami Dolphin offense, primarily because if they can keep Jay Cutler upright, which is going to be a big challenge for them, he can get the ball down the field. And it's a big play league. 
Uh, and I think if they can protect him, that's going to be the big problem. Can they protect him? Uh, the offensive line has had some iffy moments in past years, and that's going to be paramount for this team's success if they can keep Jay Cutler upright. Well, Fox, I know you're not going to have me on your show down there in South Florida because Bulls are bad and the Bears are, are, <laughs> are struggling, so there's no need to put me on. Maybe maybe a little baseball. I know you don't talk much baseball on that show, but maybe you can have me on well, the, okay. when the Cubs get to the postseason. I mean, we could we could talk some some Bulls because right on the street is uh, your boy D Wade got his kids enrolled in school back in South Florida. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, oh, no. there could be some sort of a Miami Heat uh, revival should that buyout occur in the Windy City. So we're kind of uh, getting ready to have some welcome back D-Wade parties uh, at the club. <laughs> and, I, and I know those are the most lucrative ones for you. When you when Wade, oh. I know you were making your top dollar when that... that uh... Oh, man, I missed the big three, man. I missed that <laughs> error. I mean, everybody was making money, man. It was, it was it was go time in Miami, man. Everybody was there. It's a little different, um, you know, with the Dion Waiters uh, might led Miami Heat, and we call it now Waiters County. It's now what used to be Wade County. It's now Waiters County. Right. So, you know, um, I think we're gonna be just fine. I think the Wade's headed back here, man. I can see the. It just makes sense to me. Oh, so we survived this monster of a hurricane that's headed towards us. This weekend, we can look forward to not only the, the, the Dolphins being successful, but the Heat as well. Fox, I'm glad you spent some time. As always, I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much. Jay Hood, it's all good, my brother. I appreciate you. There's your Dolphins preview right there from Jeff Fox from the Sports Brothers in Miami, SBS Radio Network on Twitter, and joining us here on ESPN 1000. We'll go around the league and talk more about the Bears at the top of the hour, including Tuesday, Wrestling Tuesday. Jonathan Hood on ESPN 1000. You're listening to John.